Peak labels are added to the display using the annotation dialog window and selecting the peak labels property page. And this property page works in conjunction with the element library. So if I just place these so you can see the actions, when I make a selection over the spectrum, I the element table scrolls, I can see the transitions that are around the energy that I've just clicked on the display. And if I select one, then it puts up element markers. And you can see the same element markers then appear in a list on the peak labels property page. So if we wanted to label some of these galleon peaks, what we would do is select a font. Let's make this 36 and indicate holding the control key down after I've made the first selection a set of peaks that I would like to add to the display. So I've now created four selected transitions and if I press apply you can see now that the labels that I selected have been placed at or near the peaks that I indicated. So if I remove the element markers and then just adjust the display, you can now see the four labels that were created as part of that peak labels property page. And these then appear in the scroll list on the annotation history. And when I go to the annotation history, you can see that there's a, a box and that allows me to drag that box and position it using the cursor. So whenever I click one of these, in fact, they, what happens is the list readjusts and the one I clicked comes to the top. So if I wanted to, for example, change the font and make this slightly smaller, I could do that and leave the others with the, the original font.